Jamaican music producer and ex-cop Miller 9 could face a death penalty in the United States. Teach them! Always make sure the message I reach them! Music producer and former member of the Jamaica Constabulary Force, 41-year-old Omar Lloyd Miller, more popularly known to dancehall fans as Miller 9, who is the principal of Miller 9 Records, might face a death penalty after being charged with two other men for murder in a home invasion that left one man dead and another seriously injured last year. Miller, who according to US police records, is of a Fort Lauderdale, Florida address. 33-year-old Devon Quinland of Westminster and another Jamaican, 34-year-old Andre Andrews of a Miramar, Florida address, were charged with multiple offenses. They have each been charged with one felony count of murder, one felony count of conspiracy to commit a crime, and one felony count of assault with a firearm. Police say the three men are also charged with murder, committed during the commission of a robbery, and murder committed during the commission of a burglary, for which prosecutors could pursue the death penalty if the men are convicted on all charges. They are being held without bail in the Orange County Jail. It was revealed late last year that the Irvine, California home invasion that occurred on the 26th of October was caught on closed circuit television. Miller and Andrews were caught in Miami with help from the FBI a month after the incident and release of the CCTV footage by investigators showing two men entering the home on Bayleaf Lane with guns. Quinlan was also arrested in December. Police identified the slain man as 20-year-old Raymond Alcala. Andrews and Miller were extradited to California on the 22nd of January, according to the DEA's office. All three defendants are being held without bail. It is understood that none of the men entered pleas during their initial court appearances on Thursday the 23rd of January in the Central Justice Center. Their arraignment is set for the 28th of February. This, however, is not Miller's first brush with the law, as he was found not guilty of murder in 2011, while serving as a member of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. Miller was one of four policemen who walked free following the murder trial of 18-year-old Grand Spen resident Andre Canute Thomas after they were acquitted by a 12-member jury. Teach them! Hey yo, hello! Send the message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here. Warlord representing. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment below. Remember to like and share the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. Follow me on social media and check out the suggested videos on screen. This is Teach saying until next time. Walk good, my friends.